Hey, what up, Maestro? How you doing this evening, brother? Hope you're doing well. I just need to open up one more thing. Uh, which one was it? That one. Okay, looks like everything is good to go, so we are going to switch over to the main game. Turn on that sound. And we are good. Master, I hope you're having a lovely evening, man. Thank you very much for joining the stream, as always. So tonight, the goal is we're going to try and get some more artifacts unlocked. And we're going to see how much harder we can make this game for ourselves. Now, in order to get to the artifact, I'm probably going to try and make it a little bit easier. Just to get the artifact, and then we'll make it hard again when we do the run afterwards. We just got home from work like half an hour ago. Okay, how did work go? How's your day? Good productive day at least. <coughs> You know what? It's not bad. If it was the first day and it wouldn't go horrible, <laughs> you've already won. Okay, so let's quickly get the formalities out of the way. Welcome everybody to the stream. Hope you're all having a lovely day and or evening. Welcome. If you're in the chat, let me know. All are welcome, so say hey. Tell me how your day is going. If it's good, if it's bad, this is a place for you to vent. Now, Outside of the stream, if you want a community to be part of, the Discord is up and running that you can find down below in the About section or just below this video. Go say hello over there. It's a place for a community to get together when the streams ain't up and running. And also, just a reminder, all of my past live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel. So go show some love over there as well. I really would appreciate it. So we are trying to reach that next follower goal of 50 followers. So I really would appreciate all the help, love, and assistance you can get in helping me reach that goal. Reach out to friends. Reach out to family. And yeah, I don't have the command working for um, the exclamation mark Discord. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so I think our base will be trying to achieve. I'm just going to kick this off right now. We're just going to choose Artifact and Command. And then we'll go with Monster Spawns on Doubled. That's what we're going to run right now. An easy difficulty uh, for the Rail Gunner. Yep, that's what we're going to do because we want to go get the next Artifact, which is... The artifact of enemies only spawn one of every kind. So let's hit it. I hope the game is loud enough and I hope I'm loud enough. Hey, what up, man? How you doing? You actually caught the stream at the perfect time. Started with a rail gunner, and we're going for an artifact. So I'll show you how it gets done. Because I know you were asking me how to get the artifacts. And the run just started. I 
I'll try. Yeah, go for it, man. Run alongside. I'll just bring special attention to it when you get to that point where you need to know exactly what's taking place. We have to go through about four, maybe five um, stages before we get to that point where we can actually do the command. But I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good day. Where are all the fucking chests? Like I'm building up cash but there's no chests because I decided not to actually do the drops from monsters. I decided to actually do chest runs. But I'm not getting any damn chests. But you know what, that works fine. Uh, let's grab IPG. That works perfectly, we'll stop for that. And that's all I'm getting from this. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Okay, let's try and grab two or three more chests. We're already approaching the four minute mark, so we want to be out of here before seven. So we want attack speed. But I ain't gonna fuck around here for too long. So once again, for all those in chat, if you have your friends or family or people that might think might enjoy the stream, we might be part of other Discord's reach out, help grow the community, really would be nice. Sniping is not going so bad this evening. There's a lunar coin. I can't forget that. But I think we're in a good enough position to be able to start the event. Start it up specifically because I've got... That. Further. This is the only part I wish I could speed up is the is the charging routes I look to see. The one part I wish I could make a little bit faster.
Okay, six minutes and 40 seconds. We're out of here before the seven minute mark. Nice. You normally want to start the teleport event at about the five minute mark. You can extend the periods after like wave, like stage four. But in the beginning, no, nah, you definitely want to try and stick to that five minute mark. Okay, so we definitely need to focus on some. Oh, it's a movement speed because our ass is slow. And just please, again, if there's any problems with my sound quality, either for the game or for myself, just let me know. So we're definitely going to grab this. Now what we want is this. Because our ass ain't going to be standing still. So we want to heal while we're sprinting. everything go for the attack speed okay should be able to afford this yep and that is going to be ignited Ignition tank. Why did I want to say Ignatius? Okay, we're approaching the 10 minute mark. Time to go to the event and move out of here. Floating orbs around. Very nice. And again, if I am too quiet, please let me know.
Our quality is very clear, but the volume could be a bit louder. Okay. Just need to get that sorted. Put this up. How's that? Hope that's better. And also, I hope it's not picking up too much background noise, like you're not getting the press buttons, etc. Much better. Glad to hear it. <laughs> uh, Roswali, remember what I told you about the um, the color codes on the top? So now you can see I'm already into the third stage. But I'm only just starting medium. The fuck is PYU? Oh my, just too old for this shit. <laughs> I don't understand what that means. Oh, <laughs> I was very confused. I was like, um, it is lingo that I don't know about. you can spend Luna coins on as well. This, we'll do that, and then we can choose. Now I'm going to choose a corpse blue. That was my healing, but it now applies over time. If you want like a more in-depth explanation of what each thing does, I'll be more than happy to give it. But then again, I don't know how much detail people want when it comes to this. And I'm really struggling to find chests right now. You see, this is one of those situations where it ends up being really shitty. Person I will hit today has a door to his Twitch streamer. Hey, that's awesome. It's amazing the luck, the little worlds that we run into. How's she doing with her streams? Or didn't you really ask for much detail? Actually got something. Start going for those grits. Come on. Nothing again. Please don't waste my money. I'm gonna waste too much money. Continue to do that. Let's get the fuck out of here. She has 4,600 followers. Holy shit. Okay, that's well done to her. You have an idea how long she's been streaming. Need to have a chat with her and find out what her secret is. <laughs> Get her to raid here then. That would be amazing. She hasn't streamed in three weeks. Oh, okay.
It's not GG's turn. Please clear red. Nope, no red. Uh, let's start digging some. Let's get some more of this. So as you can see, I'm clearly taking a lot longer in this area. But I need to at this point. I'm starting to fall behind on a lot of things. Remember what I said about the particles? Do you see the particles now, Raj? Hey, JJ. How are you doing this evening, brother? Welcome. That's good to hear. How was your day? Did you rest today or did you actually work today? Uh, so, Ross, it might be the next... Um, stage we'll just have to double check it's either going to be the next stage or the stage after that i can show you how to unlock out artifacts uh work tomorrow so just find a new game to try today Ooh. anything interesting anything worth noting See when we get to the next zone. Okay, not this one. One more. You like it. Good because it's cheap, has various modes too, not quite the same as the Sandra. Okay. I play a lot of DCS. That's not a game that a person can really stream. It's too long, it's too boring, there's a lot of lull in the action, so... Not really the kind of game that you can stream. Or you can, but, but it's for a very niche crowd. No ways. Okay, life just got easier. Those daggers that I just got, they will basically go out now and do all the damage that I need. <laughs> well, this is a game that more people can relate to at least. Like, DCS is a phenomenal game, but it's got a very small dedicated little group because of what it is it's a very particular combat flight simulator and in order to play it effectively you need a full setup you need a hot test you need eye tracker or at least head tracker like this anybody can play dcs you can play it without all the above mentioned things but it's not worth it trying to This is still technically under the genre of like dungeon crawler looter shooter. This is still a genre that more people can relate to. I'm gonna spend one of my coins because there's something I'm looking for. Uh, that. So the crown, now I'm gonna get money just from shooting enemies. But obviously, if I take any damage, I lose money. 
So as soon as I get money, I've got to spend it. Oh, and you see what I mean? Like there in the distance, I can see the particles. So that's how I know that the teleporter is behind that rock probably. How much is needed? 1,500. So I've got quite a bit to go still. And there's the teleporter. Start the boss fight. Get the cash I need. Nice and easy boss fight done. Um, just grab a wax coil. With a wax coil, I uh, jump a lot further. My initial jump is a lot farther. Is this circle big enough for me to be able to access the... Yes, it is. GG's. Okay, we want that, and I want... What do I want? I'll go for critical. Because now, if I snipe something, I'm going to be doing a fuck ton of damage. Now, i just got to test it. I need an enemy that I can see how much I'm hitting for. 6,200. Nice, where my previous was 1,500. More than quadruple the damage. And I'm still well within that 5 to 7 minute window. <coughs> okay, so, Raj, when you get to this map the purple one from yeah it's pretty straightforward let me just get one or two upgrades and then i'll show you where to go Suddenly, look how much more cash I've got early in the round. Yep, most of the chests are normally these hills okay we'll do that grab some more crit so crit we're currently on 15 percent See, 
two chests over here. This might make it a little bit difficult because this thing is closed, but we can work around that, easy. Damn, brother. It's all good, man. Fully understand. You've had a long ass day. You want to get some rest. I really do appreciate you being here. It helps out for the stats quite a lot, even just being here for a few seconds. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. I will definitely be um, doing some more uh, Path of Exile in the future. I promise you that. Okay. So we've got a bit of an issue on this one. Right. The platform that we are trying to get to is underneath us. I'm not quite 100% sure how we're going to get there. Unless it's blocked off on this. See, because that's one platform. Let's solve this puzzle quickly. I think I might be able to run to the edge here and see it below. Not this side. And the nice thing is you can't die. There we go. That's where I need to be. Okay, that's good enough. So, once you found it, you just drop down to it. Like I said, there's all the cables. Okay, so we run to over here. This is the console that you need to activate, but in order to activate it, you need to put in a combination over here. So, I am quickly going to grab a combination over here. So, the one that I am getting right now is the artifact of Kin. Monsters will only be one type per stage. So for that, I need a circle, triangle, triangle, I need the cube, circle and triangle, and then cube, cube, diamond actually, and then circle. And then you just simply come over here, it'll activate, and then we'll make the portal over there. Just go back to this so I can actually see my stream. There we go. And then once it's open, we go inside. Now, whatever the challenge is, it's going to apply that challenge in the actual run, in the test that needs to take place. So that's the artifact in the center. So now what you're trying to do is, you're trying to find those yellow things, either they're normally going to be dropped from enemies, and be careful because there's lots of gaps in between this platform, so you grab that, you run up to the item, and you press E, so as you can see, the first bit of its health is gone, you need to do it four times. You just gotta run around and wait for the next yellow one to drop. Because it's only one enemy type, it means these golems are gonna be the only thing spawning now. There we go, there's the yellow one. That's the second one. Two more times. Okay. 
Okay, so my glass is on 80% critical chance. Two more glasses. And then I can guarantee a critical every single time. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. The only thing is at the end, you just gotta make sure. Now, once you've picked it up and you leave this area, the artifact won't apply to the rest of your run. It'll only apply the next time you start up and you actually choose it. There we go, there's the next yellow one. No, definitely not. <laughs> I feel like there's a common theme. Everybody's expecting me to die or get my shit fucked up. I feel like that's the common. Oh, there's the last one that I need. There we go. That's done. Got the book. And now we jump to the center. There we go. I've got the artifact. Now I just need to make it to the portal that's up there. And we're done. And now we've got that um, artifact. So the next time we start up a run, we can choose the artifact. But then the problem is, obviously, as you can see, it brings us to the next area. Okay, time to do some serious power leveling because right now I'm running into the pop. So, I need one more shaped glass. Okay, everything is now guaranteed critical. I need more chests. I actually need these. I actually need normal white items. Here one. Okay, start grabbing crowbars. Crowbar. Cash, cash. So the crowbars are an additional, I think it's 50 or 75% damage to enemies over 90% health. Now I've got a guaranteed critical, so that means if I snipe them with the extra damage, I should be doing quite a lot of block burst hit damage. Test it. That was 13k. Yeah, that was 13k crit. That's not bad. With the previous was six. I can live with that. 
so let's hit this attack speed a bit more. Any more chests that I need to know about? Okay, not gonna waste any more time. On to the next round. Now, the nice thing is you can just keep going until you get to the next um, purple area and then just do the next artifact. You don't have to end the run every single time. But obviously, the longer you go, the further you go, the harder it's gonna get. get some of these now I'm siphoning health from nearby enemies so there is one challenge that you can do it's a bit difficult Because I want to try to be under 10% health. There we go. Under 10% health. When this thing is fully charged. Now, currently, you cannot die. From this. So I want to keep this health very low. So at about 94%. I'm going to jump down again. And let's jump. There we go. Charge a teleporter with less than 10% health. But that thing only really works when you've got this teleporter close to the edge. Okay, so you died at the end of the fourth stage. What character were you running? Huntress. Yeah. What were you trying to prioritize? Well, obviously, sorry, you don't have command yet, so you weren't prioritizing anything. You were just dealing with what they gave you. wasn't too bad but I could have been better it can always be better if you're doing a uh, a clean run a clean run meaning you don't have the command active it can always be better okay so we've got decent cash I just need to find the teleporter and get some chests what I'm doing is for looking at the horizon. I'm seeing particles over there, so I'm getting the teleporter somewhere in that direction. Okay, we want to start getting some health. So first thing I do is get some more movement speed. I'm gonna spend some cash on this. Pointless. So just to be honest, I feel like this, the chests are scarce today. Okay, let's grab some of that. Grab one more of those. Ah, here's another altar. Orange, really? What the fuck am I going to do with orange?
Okay, I'm gonna go up one level, see if there's any, like two more chests I can grab and then it's out of here. That's cash, that's cash. Okay, I see a chest there. We are now going to want to start getting these glasses, the delicate watches. 25% increase in damage, flat damage, but it will be destroyed if you go below 25% health. I can't see if this one's been opened. No, it has not. Let's go for some flat damage. There we go. Let's go do the teleporter. see flat healing when attacked okay so healing is pretty good so I'm not gonna worry too much about that see this is the only thing if you get used to playing with the artifact the command it ends up making the game ridiculously easy but like I said, the only reason why I chose command right now was that I could quickly get the artifact. Now that the artifact is done, let's see if we can do a proper run. Make it a little bit hard for ourselves. But in order for that to happen, we need to obliterate ourselves. I don't know if that's going to happen in the next round or the round after. But I can speed run this to the end now. No more chest collection. Just be line for that. Be line for the next teleporter. That's the goal. So it has to be the next one. It's not up that way. It's not up there. There it is. Teleporter is around here somewhere. Shit sure, starts getting hectic after a while. I mean, this is only fucking wave. What? One shot. Wave eight. Okay, 
found the teleporter. Teleporter's just behind this. Probably downstairs. Yep, there she is. Nice and quick, nice and easy. And if I did the calculations correct, it should be at the end of this stage, but we should see a blue portal pop up now. Here's a lunar coin. There's the special portal that pops up. The celestial portal. Forty-four minutes and thirty-eight seconds. I don't think that's bad. Yeah, so now all you do is you run to the edge. You'll see there's like a whole bunch of platforms. We want to get to that obelisk. And Raj, this is how you're actually supposed to find the codes. You're supposed to find things like this on the floor. They scattered throughout the different maps. That's how you actually get the codes. As you can see, it's five. Uh, sorry, uh, nine diamonds. That's how you're actually supposed to find the codes. But yeah, nobody's got time for that shit. So we activate it once, turns it on, and then it asks you, are 100% sure? Because the moment we say yes, it ends the run and we get killed but it counts as a win instead of a loss and we finally got the glorious um battle now we've also got the option for monsters will only be available for one stage so this is where you see your active artifacts So we've got choose your item, monsters drop item on death, monsters will only be of one type per stage, and then monster spawns are doubled, but monster maximum health is half. <laughs> and remember what I said about when you get something? So in the logbook, you'll see here, even though I just unlocked it, it's a, was it a green item or a white item? Oh God, I can't remember what it was. Yes, there is a difficulty choice. Easy, medium, hard. So every single character has got an alternate skin. The only way you get the alternate skin is by doing what I just did, obliterating yourself on monsoon difficulty. There. So if we do this, so let's go. Artifact of Command. Yeah, go for easy until you at least get the artifact of Command until you actually learn 
all the different stuff and you can always pump it up so i'm going to do a monsoon run at the moment just to give an idea so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go for monsoon run artifact the command and then monsters will only be one type i'm not going to do double and i'm not going to do um items drop from what's her face so let's do this and then let's use Uh, let's use the Huntress. I like the Huntress. So, on soon difficulty, two artifacts active. On the Huntress, because we want two additional skin. Let's see how hard it is. I know how hard it is, I'm probably going to get fucked up. Everything in this game is movement speed. Exit, I'm, I'm ending that run for one reason and one reason only. I forgot that on my Huntress, I accidentally I'm on the wrong one. I want that one, not that one. So that is a, think about like a three burst um, M16, like from the old COD games. That's what that is. I hate it. So everything else stays the same. We run it again. As you can see, I don't have to worry about anything else spawning because these bugs, these beetles spawned. I know that for the rest of this round, only beetles are going to spawn. Now, obviously, as you can imagine, that makes it so that it's going to be pretty safe because they've got no ranged attack. They can't shoot at me. So I know I'm pretty good for this round, at least. I just got to make sure I'm killing. And then first thing, movement speed. Now we're just looking for chests. Okay, all you lovely people, I need you guys to put your minds together and help us figure out how the hell we're going to grow this community. Attack speed for sure. And let's go for some. Okay, so we're ready for the first boss fight. Now the problem is, because it's beetles, it probably means the first boss is going to be the beetle queen. And that means she's going to get guardians with her. Meaning, I am worried. Never mind, looks like the boss is just a whole bunch of enemies. That's gonna be very nice. You see what I mean by it can, be, it can make a run very easy or very difficult depending on what you get. There we go. 
boss is dead, technically, because all it was was enemies. Ukulele. Ukulele always first. Always. Okay, now we hope and pray for good orange in the next area. Four minutes in, already moving on to the next stage. That's okay. But now you'll also notice, if you have a look at the top right, the progress bar moves a lot faster as well. On monsoon difficulty. So it becomes harder a lot quicker. You know what? Not the worst enemy to have. They're quick, but they could be worse. And technically, they can't get to you on this platform, because they can't jump and they can't span that gap. So if you really need to retreat to somewhere, you can run up to there. If you've got something that is ground bound. Okay, so next is Hopu Feather. That's fine, we'll grab a gasoline. That's going to be bad. Okay, I'm good. I survived. Taking advantage of game design. Yeah, 100%. Bro. In every single game, there will always be a way to cheese. Always. Okay, now that that's done, let's get some watches. And as you can see right now, I'm just getting the basis of everything up. Like, I haven't got multiple of anything besides the attack speed. Everything is singles. Because that's where I know moving forward how to, what to prioritize. We'll take one more gasoline. And that's probably going to be it for gasoline for now. I'm probably now going to start leaning more towards the watches and the attack speed. And Raj, I'll tell you what, once you've actually got a bit of practice and you're comfortable with the game and the mechanics and stuff, we'll do a run together. Shit just gets a lot more hectic at that point because all the enemy's health is doubled and the enemies are doubled. That'll be the plan, at least. Portal's up there, so I'm not worried about where it's at. Just worried about what I can get right now in the meantime. And this is monsoon difficulty. It's all about how you prioritize what you're going to get. Watch. 
And if you don't, perfect. One more time, because movement speed and evasiveness is everything. I'm going to get it out of the way right now, off my health. Let's see if it's available. Yes, it is. Because this is one of the best things you can get for Huntress, because she moves around so quickly. And because she sprints. Heal while sprinting. Let's grab this. I'll take that, I'll take another bleed. No more left, let's see how well we do with the boss. First thing, pop that. Second, pop that. Third, I'll drop that over there. And there we go, boss is done. Grab this. I want that. So that means my burn effect is gonna burn better and faster. Huntress is a lot of fun. Huntress is really a lot of fun, but you just need to make sure you understand that with her, everything is about movement speed. Movement speed, evasion. If she's moving, you're good. On to the next area, stage 3. Now if I was a little bit faster, because I only got you with 11 minutes. Oh fuck, okay, so this is where it's going to be difficult, because now the only enemies that are going to be spawning are those freaking um, golems. So that's going to make life a little bit difficult. Benefit is they're slow. Problem is they hit like absolute fucking fire trucks. So now we've got to be careful on how we approach this. Because that also means the boss fight is going to be a metric fuck ton of those guys. So I'll not be surprised if I die here.
So, things went from being good and in my favor to I'm on the back foot and running around like a little bitch. So right now I'm trying to stack up the most things. That's going to benefit me. Which is probably going to be bleed and attack speed. But for that, I just need to keep moving. If I'm moving, I'm dying. You can see how it's a benefit, but it can also be a, a bad thing. To have only one kind of enemy. I was hoping I could pick up more damage than what I've currently got, but it doesn't look like it. Looks like I'm gonna have to start the fight with what I've got. Which is horrible and terrifying. And I don't wanna do it. But fuck it, we got this. You guys got faith in me, yes or no? I wouldn't. Uh, let's do more damage at high level. Come on, I've got the money. Give me another one. Thank you. Damage. Perfect. ATG missiles. Give me some more damage. There we go. There we go. The ending it seems to be coming better. Okay, I'm going to start this fight, or we're going to get overwhelmed very, very quickly. Stone Golem hit me square. And that's the beauty of a monsoon run. Yeah, it's it's insane. It really is a lot harder doing a monsoon run because obvious reasons. But it is nice to eventually get to the point where you want to do them. Because yeah having the alternate skin for every single character is quite nice and I do mean every single character okay so what is a character that you guys would like to see JJ I want your Andros's input we have got commander hundreds you guys have seen we've got bandit multi engineer you guys have seen artificer the melee guys you guys have seen We've got this thing, the grappler, and then this guy we've also tested already. So just assign numbers to them, one through however many they are on the screen. I don't actually know. 
Let's run the bandit on easy difficulty with kin and command on. Actually, you know what? Let's turn off command. Let's see if we can make it work without command. Let's see how far we get. I can't remember what the skills are. Okay, so very quickly. Mouse one. Oh, so shift is going visible. That's nice. Okay, so it looks like that's a shotgun. Okay, Ori is a nice revolver. Mouse two is just a knife hit. Okay, you know what? We can make this work. Yeah, we can make this work. Very nice. Are you making sure you're going for artifact command first? Okay, so I got a med kit. Very nice. So check. You see that I've only picked up one item, right? The item that I've picked up is a healing kit. Kinda useless for me right now. This would be more beneficial for me. It is a uh, energy drink. So what I'll do is I'll sacrifice my, my only one that I've got. And I'll rather take the energy drink. My sprint speed is 25% faster. Every day of the week. Movement. And then we've got a second one. Very nice. All day, every day. The most important thing to make sure that you're keeping on top of is your movement speed. Okay, let's have a look what they've got. Gasoline. Gasoline always. Activate that just to see what I get. Nope, not going to do that. So that is the um, augment for the critical glasses. And the problem is it changes it from a 10% crit to a 0.5% instant kill. But obviously you can imagine 0.5%. You've got to do quite a couple of glasses before you've got the damage to basically be considered an instant kill every time. Okay, so receive flat damage reduction. You know what? That's not bad. I see we've got another printer up here. And this is why it's important to start getting to know the items. And you get to know them best when you do the normal runs that aren't artifacts of command. Because I know for a fact I don't want that item. So I'm not sacrificing something I've already got for that. So that's why yes, artifact of command is nice, but only use artifact of command to get other artifacts. Holy shit, I've got three energy drinks already. And a teddy bear. So I've got survivability like a motherfucker. I've just got zero damage. And these are the grinders. So I can grind up any one of these to get the scrap. And the scrap I can then use at a printer instead. Nothing there, nothing there, that's a second time, third time fail. One more time, don't have the money for it. Okay, we're approaching the four minute mark, so I think I'm going to run up this. Just double check if there's anything else up here. If there is, grab it, if there ain't. Then find the teleporter and do the event. Okay, another one of these. What is that? I'll take that. Creates unstable black holes, recharges over time, corrupts all rings. That is a very powerful one. I'll keep that. Thank you. Okay, 
start the fight, we're gonna have a whole bunch of imps. And there's the black hole, they've all just been pulled into there. Boss fight over. And we've got a gear team, nice. Remember, right now I'm doing a normal run, no command, so running with what I get. I do see there's a coin all the way out there. Bandit's not bad, actually. I don't know how Bandit scales into the late game. But right now, starting off, ain't bad. Okay, teleport is good to go. On to the next one. Looks like I've got wisps again. Okay, this is gonna make life very, very nice. Looks like twice in a row now I've got wisps. I'm just waiting for that one round that's gonna fuck me where it's gonna give me like Elder Lemurians or some shit like that. Cause that's gonna suck. Or I'm gonna get a whole bunch of those golems again. So, Ross, what I was mentioning early on. Bandit. Attack speed is useless. I'm not gonna bother with it. So if I see a grinder, I'm going to give up the attack speed because I've only got four shots and they shoot as fast as I click. Attack speed for the bandit is beyond useless. Drop a healing orb on kill. You see? Now this I want. Because that is bleed. But even bleed might be useless because remember, I'm not shooting enough pellets to be able to stack. Unless every single part of the shotgun counts towards it, so... Something to consider, but let's go for the... Mystery item. Another... Another energy drink. So my movement speed is quick, pretty quick. And that's the nice thing because that's the balance. Because if you want movement speed but not attack speed, energy drink is best. If you want a balance of both, then you want the hoof. Sorry, then if you... Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm going to do this, seeing that I run so quickly. Because now I heal. Okay, so now that can give me health. And hopefully I can find the... The augment for it. So that when I heal, I, s I heal when I sprint. The only thing with this guy I've noticed, you have to be pretty fucking accurate with your shots. And that's perfect, because now I've got... Two swipes. Kind of useless for this character. There's quite a few things that I can actually, if I find a grinder, sacrifice. Okay, let's run to the other side and go check if I've got any more chests. And time to start finding the teleporter. Well, there's a chest right here. 
Teleport is probably on this side. The only problem with doing it this way is these little imps that I'm getting don't exactly give the most cash in the world. There we go. Boss damage. That's nice. It all depends on what the boss is going to be. So because I'm an absolute sucker for pain, I'm going to activate this. Shrine of the Mountain. That means there's going to be two times or three times the amount of bosses to fight when it comes time to it. But I'm doing that because the cash payout might be pretty nice. So obviously it will go towards my XP. Let's have a look over here. I want the boss damage again. Especially with what we're going to do right now. Okay, so let's test it. Start the event and let's see how many bosses we have to fight. Go invisible, what am I doing? chance to drop ammo pack that resets all skill cooldowns and i've got two of them and that's also one of the benefits if you're doing the actual proper run the clean run you survive the artifact run they got nice so now you've got command and the nice thing is also when you do the mountain shrine when you kill the boss the item that drops the drop is also doubled Not at you see, and I get ammo bag that reset all my cooldowns. So let's grab this so I can actually get an equipment. What was it? Yep, I'll take that. Cooldown lightning. It'd be nice for a big target. Stage. Yeah, he's not bad. Not really my kind of play style, but you know what? Fuck it. We're trying him out. And we're doing it on a proper run. Completely random items. And you know what? This I can live with. I can live with these birds. They're irritating. But I can live with them. Okay, we want the coffee because the coffee is both attack speed and movement speed. We're mostly going to have movement speed. Your bonus damage to nearby enemies. Nice. So pop one. That's a stake. That's more health. I have got all the healing items in the fucking world. Just nothing to actually do damage. And while that's nice for now, it's going to come back and bite me in the ass a little bit later on. I can almost guarantee it. a nice green one. That's that shit. 
It's not helping me with that damage situation. It does give me a better chance of doing it, uh, killing enemies at low health, but getting them to low health later on is going to be an issue. What have I got here? You know what? I'll take that. That's a gain shield on kill. Definitely never do this. I am tempted, really fucking tempted to show you guys what this thing does. The Shrine of Order. Do you want to see what it does? So I'll explain it quickly and then I'll show you. The Shrine of Order will take all of my items and then randomly give me shit back. However, if it wanted to, it could decide to give me, so let's say I've got 14 items, it could decide to give me 14 healing items. So if we do this, look at my items at the top, let's just kill this guy. My items, that's what I'm left with. Deal bonus damage to nearby enemies. But as you can see, I've lost all my movement speed. So that's what it did to me. Now sometimes you can be ridiculously lucky and it gives you some really good shit. And sometimes like now nah, it can kind of fuck you. So... I didn't worry about damage loss because I didn't have any like, damage items. But what did kill me is the fact that I lost all my movement speed. Because I had four energy drinks. And I've already collected most of the items on the map. So that means I'm probably not going to pick up too many. I resisted and I have no idea what happened to me. Yeah. Yeah, they've made that shrine look a very specific way to make sure that you can identify it. And make 100% sure you're certain that that is something you actually want to activate. So, now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try offset because I do not need 19 of those... Okay, so if you can remember what was on my screen, I had 19 of those pink jewels, 4 of the guillotines, 1 purple item, and 1 item that reduces flat damage. I'm gonna do this now. We're gonna start sacrificing some of my shit to get coffees. Because coffees increase my movement speed. Which means it's probably because my biggest number is the purple items, it's probably going to end up taking most of my purple items, which is fine. Because I'm not worried about that. You can see I'm slowly starting to get some movement speed back. So this is a 7% increase to movement speed and a 7% increase to attack speed as well. So we're faster, we're still not as quick as what it was. In a better position. So I think this is a good place as any to just do the freaking teleporter event. And hopefully, go to a new area that can give me better shit. So, not as fast as I was, but better than what I was. And I still maintain 13 jewels. Yeah. So, it's a balance of everything. And I am squishy. Oh my god. I forgot I lost all my healing items as well.
Here we go. That worked nicely. Okay, boss has been defeated. Activating your equipment gives you a burst of attack speed. Will be. So, we're not in a horrible spot, but we're kind of in a shit spot. Because I've lost all of the healing items I had. Which was some of some good ones. But I like gained a lot of damage to enemies close by. But see, that's the problem. I don't fight enemies close by. I'm not going to benefit from that. So instead, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Because I don't benefit from it, I'm going to do something that I do benefit from. And now we've got the rockets, which are amazing. There we go. So I gave up most of those purple items to gain all of this movement speed. Now we're a little bit safer. Because now we can get around a little bit better. Who left? JJ or Raj? Okay, useful, yeah. Nice. So I want to show you a boss fight that you can activate. I don't know what the boss fight is going to look like with the fact that I've only got one enemy type active. But the way you activate this boss fight, so when you ever get to this mission that's got this crashed ship, run around the map and look for these eggs, right? Shooting the egg won't do anything initially. You see, here's a scrapper. The scrapper would have been perfect previously. Because through that scrapper, I could have sacrificed the shit that I didn't like. I guess there's no eggs inside, yeah. Okay, here's another pair of eggs. Activate the shard of the mountain, why not? Because I need money. There's a green item down here. Ray is taking damage. We're gonna take a hope of wax coil. And we've also lost our um our uh, gasoline. There's another pair of eggs. I don't know if it's going to work. There's the other eggs. But basically, what happens is if you destroy enough of those eggs, it spawns in a very unique boss. And if you kill the boss, it automatically gives you a red item. A legendary. So it's always worth it, if you can. If you get to this mission, if you know you can survive it, is to run it. What did I get? Uh, chance to stun. Punish it. So I'll show you now what we're going to do now that we know we got something shit, actually. Something that I really do not want.
There's not fair X. There we go. You see, you hear distant weary. So it's time to let me know that we're starting to push off the thing that owns those eggs. I just can't remember where all the eggs are. That would be nice with any other character, but not going to use it for this one. However, I know that back here was a grinder somewhere. There we go. So, we go to the grinder, that, and we're going to sacrifice that. And then now we've got scrap. Now we can use that scrap on the next printer that we get. So just as an example, if I now wanted this thing, instead of sacrificing one of my white items, see, it'll take the scrap. Yes, you do. You keep the scrap until you actually use it. Mm, I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, you know what? That's fine. Green item. Activating it summons a squid turret. That's not too bad. So is it just me or is the number of chests that I've seen very fucking limited? I'm just trying to actually clear out these areas. I need to kill one more void monster. Where is this thing? There it is. There we go. Area's been cleared. That gives me cash. That gives me cash. There's a box. Yes, now we've got some critical damage. Now what I can do is activate that. Grab this and let's see if I'm lucky. What's it going to give me? Teddy bear. You know what? I'll look the teddy bear. It blocks the next source of damage incoming. Now the question is, am I still going to look for that last egg and see if I can do the boss fight? The problem is, I don't know where the other egg is. But normally by now I've got the eggs. There we go, there's the boss. Yep, hide. When this guy starts shooting at you, you hide. Especially if you don't have the thing to be able to deal with you quickly. Uh, run. Just dead still for two seconds. There we go. There's your red item. See? 
Okay, fuck enough around. Let's do this. And now you see why moving speed is king. Of these flowers because we had three times the mountain shot. <laughs> I am sprinting, technically. How's that artifact command feeding you? I haven't actually like, tried it out yet. We're on the same run, that's pretty good. And that was a, a run that you did before you got command. See? Just a little bit of faith. Eventually, at some point, it all just comes together and you end up having an absolutely fucking fantastic run. But yeah, I do want to know that it sucks sometimes. When you do the run like four or five times. And you don't get shit. Uh, yeah, of course, obviously, because you've been responding and that kind of stuff, so my apologies for that. sacrifice one cup to get that and then we're gonna go for a that and if I want to I can do the artifact now of elites only but I don't know how prepped I am especially with this character Rapidly heal outside of danger, that's stupid. I'm getting so many fucking healing items. Yes, now I've got another red item. Dio's best friend. That cheats death. That is one free revive. How did I fall through the rocks? Oh. So let's see. Grab one of them. Yes. Now I heal while sprinting. It's an enemy with lightning corrupts all ukuleles. I can live with that. 
Okay, the problem I've got is I don't have any ukuleles and I don't see a 3D printer. So I think this area is kind of a bust for me. I think this run is going to be a bust for me because... This run might be a bust because I've got zero damage items. Everything I'm running is um, mostly healing. Let's see, here's another shrine of the mountain. So that means I'm going to get six times the rewards if I beat all the bosses. Let's see how stupid I am or how good I am. One of the two. Alright, there's another shrine on the mountain. Let's go make it even harder for myself. I'm either going to rock it. Never mind, I'm going to fall to my death. I need to make it all the way back up there. Three challenge of the mountain, that's about six to nine times the rewards. That's gonna be a nice little bonus come the end of the round. If I survive. Which right now I highly I doubt is gonna happen. Don't want those, those are useless. This is gonna give me healing items that is useless. Another sign of the mountain the mark. Okay, let's go find the teleporter and let's do something very fucking stupid. Try to grab some drones, hopefully the drones might make me like somewhat save me. Highly doubt it though. My question is where is the teleporter event? Okay, it's not there. Oh god, where is it? There we go. I see it. <laughs> no, just give me something good, please. I said good. Like, like look at my fucking inventory. 99% of the shit that I've got is healing items. Okay, so let's turn that off because I'm definitely not doing the final boss fight. Everything over here looks good. Okay. Here we go. Final boss fight. Let's see how much shit spawns. Keep relying on that thing, that black hole doing all the damage. The only way I can see myself getting out of this. Let's 
Luckily, these things attack very, very slowly. Yeah, this is a very interesting boss fight. I'd love to see the kind of rewards I'm going to get from this if I actually end up beating, beating this. There we go. One, two, three, four. Really? Four fucking healing blossoms. Okay, that was bullshit. Like, I'm never gonna fucking die just with the amount of healing shit that I've got. And that's sometimes the shit thing. Sometimes your runs are fucked by some stuff that's completely out of your control. This is gonna be my death. These guys are gonna hit like bricks. to get health. And yes, I'm starting the boss fight for a very important reason. I don't want to get out of this area. I don't want to be stuck here, so... If I have this, I'm going to be very fucking impressed with myself. Yep, and this is the problem now. I, the enemies that are starting to spawn, I'm starting to tickle. Like, I'm struggling to do any kind of damage to them, any real, like, realistic type of damage. So, unless they start giving me pretty decent damaging items soon, like a gasoline. That might be pretty decent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about the kill.
movement speed. I'll take that. Come on. Nope. First fucking damage item. Yay. Rejoice now. <laughs> and here we go. Now here I can actually start going. I don't need all of those. They're going to give me a whole bunch of scrap that I can use somewhere else. If I survive. I don't need all of those. See, now I've got seven green scrap and seven white scrap. So now we have a look over here. Is there anything that I wanted? I'll take teddy bears every day of the week. And now I'm not sacrificing any of my items I'm using the scrap. I think like the only two things that are currently keeping me safe is the fact that I'm fast as fuck. And that I've got every single goddamn healing item in the game. We're close to. Just wanna see if there isn't a chest that I've maybe missed. And you see this is the danger of um sticking around for oh, fuck. Sticking around for too long. Is because look at my difficulty already. I see you, I'm coming for you, and this is only stage seven. So I'm gonna go start the boss fight. Let's see how we do. Fight is done, I get up there. I should just stay in a circle. Now 
Now they're gonna hit me. And that is why gasoline is so fucking powerful. Because I still don't actually have like a proper damage item. Just the gasoline spreading the fire like that. Does massive work. And um, fire. Well, I think I just got the easiest enemy to deal with. Useless. Robot. I'm trying to get damage on this. Wait, what did you mean by does beat get proceed by gasoline? Like, which one takes priority, or do they like replace each other? So I'll answer both. Um, no, they don't replace each other. You can stack both bleed and uh, uh, fire at the same time. And the priority always is get one gasoline first before you start working on your bleed. I don't think so. No, no, no. I think you actually need to hit the person with your attacks to stack the, um, the bleed itself. So the bleed is based on the attacks that you do, not the stasis that comes from other things. One thing hit me, and there we go. There was my free revive. That's because of that um, legendary teddy bear that I picked up. One free revive. Now if I die, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah, that would be kind of OP. If the gasoline triggered beat as well. 
You know, I'm gonna do it. I've got some more of this stuff. So now I've got a personal shield. Just for that extra protection. Okay, I grab this now, I can't yet. I need one more monster. There we go. No? Wait, what? There we go. Now the area is defeated. Nope, still need one more monster. See, and that's just it. You never know when a run that you perceive to be an absolute failure. You never know when the run's actually going to end up being a good run. Like, I did not think I was going to make it to wave 8. Stage 8 at least. with four or more debuffs and uh, take bonus damage nice you obliterate yourself and you made it through one you see what I mean how sometimes the runs just they just struggle in every sense of the word and then next time just mad magically it all just comes together it all just comes together and ends up being actually a phenomenal run. Can't tell you how it happens, can't tell you why it happens. Like, be honest, when you started off the run, did you think that you were going to have this shit to be able to actually make it to the end, to obliterate? Because I think I'm going to be able to obliterate now as well, and that's two runs for me tonight. Yep, there we go. With this shit loadout, with this shit loadout that I just had, I'm gonna be able to obliterate. And now you're gonna find out that. No, oh, fuck. Oh, whoopee. Wee. And now you're gonna realize how fun the artifacts start making the game. I'm still falling. Thank you. Fuck. Missed it again. Now I'm gonna start all the way at the top. At least I won't die. I'll take some damage. There we go. Oh my god, really? Like, I'm fucking up right now. I'm trying to rush through to the end. Let's do this slowly. On the first rock. Second rock. Main rock. That rock. Jump to that rock. That rock is fine. Jump to that rock. Onto this rock. Down to that rock. And there we go. I mean, we were just trying out this character to see if it works, and we did it on a proper run. So, 56 minutes, we got to ha 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 difficulty. Stage 9, level 33. Obliterated. 
I did not think that my first run with this character was going to be successful. And I unlocked another thing. That was the fire rock, the fireworks I told you about. Now let's have a look at this logbook. It was a fucking horrible one. My butt was clenched that entire goddamn run. I mean, with all the successful runs that I've had, check. Look at how many things I've still got locked. So don't look at the black. The black just means I haven't picked it up. I've unlocked it, but I haven't picked it up. The Obviously, the locks are the ones that are locked. So this one, discover the hidden chamber in the abandoned aqueduct. Don't know what that's about. Uh, complete the prism. Oh, prismatic trial. What is that again? I just want to have a look at it. I'm not going to start it now. It's way too late. But I want to see what a prismatic trial is. Um, switch over to my gunner. What the fuck is this? Oh, are these? Oh, these are going to be automatically. I feel like this is going to be a nightmare. Destroy the time crystals and find and activate the teleporter. No way is he giving me such a. Dude, how is that the first enemy I'll fight? Okay, I think I know what the next stream is going to be on on this. Tomorrow will probably be some Borderlands or something else. But I think I know what the next stream after that's going to be. And he's trying to complete the prismatic draw. So I destroy the time crystals. How do I destroy it? Oh. I actually just shoot it. Well, I can do that from a distance. Okay, so I've destroyed everything. Now what the fuck do I do? Oh my god, the teleport is always over there. Okay. Yeah, teleporter. That's the thing we always get to to end the um, run. He charged the teleporter. Good thing I'm pretty good with the uh, rail gunner. But I'd love to see what this boss fight is going to be like. I don't have a single item. Don't tell me there's a boss fight still there as well. One round. Critical strikes heal you. I got it. That's all I needed to do was just do one round of it. Oh, and fuck you can kill me, bro. I'm done. I'm done. That's all I wanted. Fucking 
whoever's first enemy that I see. Fuck it, come here. I thought I had to like do like a whole stage and survive to like a certain point. Oh fuck me. Okay, so I just had to survive one round. If I'd known that, I would have done that fucking forever ago. Where's all the enemies? Oh wait, I know how I can kill myself. And... Why is it not killing me? Oh, it's taking me to 1% health. I literally did all that because I wanted that. Critical strikes heal you. So I never have to do a prismatic trial again. Nice. And where is it? Where is it? It's a green item, right? Ah, guillotine. Easy. Easy clap. I mean, fuck, you can do it. Okay, I don't know where it's gone now. I hope I've got it. I'm not seeing the scythe here anyway. I did pick it up. I did unlock it. Excuse me. I unlocked it. You saw me unlock it. Don't tell me I have to survive and escape to be able to bring it out with me. Now there it is there. Complete the prismatic. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay. Not as easy as what we thought it was going to be. That's going to be a problem for tomorrow. So, Ross, seeing that you're the only person that is currently watching this stream, thank you very much for joining. I do appreciate it. Much love as always, and yep, check it tomorrow, man. I'm not going to do the normal goodbyes, but for those of you that are watching this after the fact, keep in mind that I do upload all of my past live streams on my YouTube channel, so go subscribe, go show some love, and really, it would mean a lot to me if you could help share this with friends, family, on social media. Try bring some attention to the channel, and let's try help grow this community. To me, it would mean a lot. We're on 10 followers at the moment. I'm trying to get to 50. We had an absolute blast to get to 10 and since then we've been kind of standing still like we haven't had a follow in the last 14 days so let's try bring some love but apart from that i hope you guys have a lovely evening and or day depending on where you're from look after yourselves be safe and much love until next time bye